Hey guys, it's Anthony Bandio here, attorney and senior legal instructor with Blue to Gold Law Enforcement Training, bringing you another roadside chat from the studio. All right, so we got a great question here today from an officer in Texas, the great state of Texas. All right, so the question is, is can you search a vehicle on curtilage with exigency? And let's go to the scenario, okay? I'm looking at my computer here. All right, the officer is called to a noise complaint. Upon arrival at a house, right? Upon arrival, he sees a car in the driveway with probably music uh, blaring. Um, he smells the odor of marijuana emanating from the vehicle. And this one is actually unique in the sense that um, the car had two tires, you know, two rear, the rear tires on the sidewalk, which violates a city ordinance. But it's, it's, um, it's safe to say that the other half of the car is on curtilage. Okay. We go up to the car, we make contact, right? And can we search the car? Uh, the answer is, is yes. Here's why. Number one is the case Collins v. Virginia, which is the U.S. Supreme Court case that held that police cannot search a car that's on curtilage under the motor vehicle exception alone. Alone. And that is for good reason, because when you're on somebody's curtilage, it's like being in their home. I mean, the curtilage is treated like the home itself, according to the U.S. Supreme Court in a case called Florida versus Jardines. So if you're going to be on somebody's curtilage, you better have a damn good reason of why you're there. I mean, knock and talks will work. But if you're doing criminal enforcement on people's curtilage, uh, you better have some exigency, emergency, urgency, or you better have their consent. But if you don't have that, you better go get a warrant. And the motor vehicle exception, remember, there is no underlying exigency in the car when it's unoccupied and nobody's near it and so forth, right? Some states, court cases will talk about that, that the motor vehicle exception is based off of the exigency of the inherently mobile vehicle. But come on, I mean, that's, that, is, that may be one way to describe it. And that may be another reason why we we allow these searches as far as it's making it just this, it's kind of bogus. There is no exigency when you stop a car for speeding. You have probable cause that there's evidence in there. The guy is under arrest in the back seat. You have the car keys. Nobody else is around you and you're, you know, in the boonies and there is no exigency there, right? We, we know that. Okay. So that's why Collins v. Virginia said, look, the motor vehicle exception will not work. However, exigency will. Now, this case is kind of unique because half the car is on open fields, the sidewalk, and the other half is on curtilage. Remember, you know, Colony, Virginia, the car was 100% within the curtilage. It was in a, a carport. So this one is a little weird. But even if it was actually fully on the driveway, I still think we win because loud noise complaint brings us lawfully into view and, and next to the car. We can we can absolutely go up to the to the car and address the issue. Um, we smell the marijuana. He's behind the wheel. We don't have time to go get a warrant. There's certainly ex well, there's exigency there, you know, on the curtilage. So we're we're okay, right? We're we're gonna be okay. The court is not going to, um, I, I don't believe we're gonna believe that uh, say that this is an unlawful search or seizure. All the the parts are are lining up pretty nicely with this one. So that's what I think. Um, again, even if the car was fully on curtilage in the, in, in the driveway. Now, if it's in the backyard, that's a different story. But if it's on the driveway, I think we're good. All right, well, let's keep this one short and sweet. So if you like what I'm doing, you want me to keep doing them, right? These, these little short educational search and seizure videos, then do me a favor, my friends. Hit like or comment. That shows YouTube that you like what I'm doing here, and it, it, it shows it to other people. Hit subscribe, right? And then finally, share with your friends. All right, guys, until next time, stay safe. When it comes to law enforcement training, we are the gold standard. Visit bluetogold.com or call 888-579-7796 to learn more about our training, books, and free webinars. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel.